Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you how to find a Spring Core version in your Spring Boot project. Why? So you might have a situation where a certain vulnerability was discovered in Spring Core and you want to know whether it's applicable to your project. In this video, I will show you quickly how to do that and then we'll explain what is actually happening under the hood. Let's go. So here I have a minimal Spring Boot application, which I just downloaded from a Spring Initializer website. If I go to this POM file, which indicates this, this is a Maven project, although very similar approach will be applicable to a Gradle project. So we're looking at this XML file and we can find a version, the Spring Boot version that our project uses. So there are two ways how we can determine what is a Spring Core version of our project. So the first one is easier. And uh, if we navigate to a Spring uh, Playground Maven application, which is our main class with a public static void, void method. So Spring has a Spring version class with get version method on it. And we can just simply, simply log this information into the console. So if I type systemout.println, and you can use a log info, but for our demo purposes, there'll be the system out.println will be more than enough. I can type my spring version is, and we will call spring version dot get version. If I run this application, we can see that my spring version is 5.3.1. So if for some reason you can't run this approach, there is another one a little bit more complicated, but, um, the action that you need to do is navigate to your browser and go to a Maven central repository and type Spring Boot Dependencies. So you'll find a org Spring Framework Boot project and click on the latest version. Uh, it will ask me if I want to go to a new experience. I will stick with the older one. And here I will find my version of Spring Boot. So it should be 2.4.0. Here we go. So if I scroll down this large list of dependencies, there should be somewhere a Spring version. I will use browser search and I'll type Spring Framework Boot version. And here we go, 5.3.1 is our Spring Core version that we're looking for. So at this point, since we found what we need, let's take a look at what Spring Boot Dependencies file is about. Spring Boot Dependencies is a file which is also called Below Materials, or BOM for short. It contains a list of dependencies for a particular Spring Boot version that were tested and work well together. By default, all projects inherit this configuration, allowing Spring to provide sensible defaults. This is a good example of convention over configuration approach where Spring allows your code to bootstrap without the need to specify each library version explicitly and ensure there wouldn't be any error while working with important artifacts. It's important to note that Spring Boot dependencies doesn't pull any jars by itself, but rather simply lists libraries in their versions. When a dependency is added to a project, may even a Gradle, We'll use the internal logic to scan through BOM to download Spring approved version and add it to the class pass of the code base. However, you won't find Spring Boot dependencies in your project. This is because of another file called Spring Boot Starter Parent. Here is a full diagram. At the top, we have Spring Boot dependencies, which is inherited by Spring Boot Starter Parent project and which is used by our code base at the end. While the purpose of dependencies is to provide the list of the libraries, the starter parent has to do a little bit more things such as specifying source encoding, resource filtering, plugin configuration, etc. I hope this video helped you understand the dependency resolution concept in Spring. See you in the next videos.